Hi everybody, thank you for coming back. This is the Daily Tarot Predictions for June the 20th. I am going to pull one card for each sign. Besides watching your sun sign, if you want to get a more full picture of what kind of energies are impacting your life, you may also want to watch your moon sign, your rising sign. If you're interested in what's going on in relationships, you may want to check out your Venus sign. And if you want to know what's expanding in your life, you may want to check your Jupiter sign. So, having said all that, let's get started, shall we? Aries, first of all, you have the Ten of Cups showing up here. This just tells me that not only are you happy, but you're taking something that makes you happy and you're moving it to the next level. You're stepping it up, okay? So this can be stepping up a relationship. This can be um, getting more involved with a hobby or more involved with a friendship. Lots of different ways that this can manifest. Taurus, you're up next. What we have showing for you is the King of Wands. This is somebody that you're interacting with today, Taurus. The King of Wands is somebody who thinks very much outside the box. They don't let culture or society tell them what they need to do to get along in life. And so um, this is somebody who, you know, is going to be a little bit more unique and original, maybe even a little bit eccentric. Uh, but they're also somebody who's very passionate. They have a lot of enthusiasm and they're pretty much a real go-getter. If they want to make something happen, these are the people that can really make something happen. And this is someone that you're interacting with today, Taurus. Next up, we're looking at the card for Gemini. Gemini, you have a king as well in your sphere of influence, and this is the king of pentacles in reverse. So what's going on here with that king of pentacles in reverse? There is somebody that you're interacting with that does not feel like they have enough resources to do everything that they want to do. This person, I feel like Gemini's, this person could be asking you for money or asking you if they can do some kind of work for pay. But um, basically the bottom line is they are trying to uh, bring in income and I think they're going to be asking you for some help with that. Okay, now the next one that we're going to look at is the card for Cancer. And Cancer, you have the Three of Wands showing up. Three of Wands is just telling me that you are making some long-term plans or you're making some travel plans or you're making some travel plans that are for a long time away from now. Um, either way. <laughs> So either making some long-term plans or else making some travel plans today, Cancer could show up either way for you. For some of you, it'll be one way, some of you the other, and some way, some of you both. Next, we're going to look at Leo, 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 Leo. So Leo's, what you have showing up here is the Queen of Wands. This tells me that you really kind of got your mojo going, and I think that um, you are... Definitely working with the supernatural world or working with the spirit world. You may be doing some kind of ceremonies, prayers, um, invocations. If you do spell work, you may be doing spells. Um, but I think that you are definitely doing some kind of communication with the divine. And it feels like you're doing this kind of communication because you're trying to encourage somebody else in your sphere of influence, trying to encourage them on some type of project that they're working on already. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so that's Leo. Next up, let's look at Virgo. So Virgos, you guys have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And what I'm picking up off of this card is not so much the sneakiness that, you know, can be on this card, but more what I'm picking up on is that you guys have something that you are reconsidering. So this is something that you made a strategy about before, and as you're moving forward and seeing this strategy, seeing how the rubber hits the road with this, I think you're rethinking this strategy and coming up with some adaptations to a strategy, to a strategy that you already have in place, Virgo. Next up is Libra. Libras, you guys have the Nine of Cups. This is telling me that personally you're feeling pretty satisfied, fairly satisfied and happy. We like that, Libra. Good for you. Scorpio, fellow Scorpios. Oh, look at that. High Priestess. High Priestess. Okay, well, 
Um, I don't think I have to tell you that I normally show up as the High Priestess in my spread. That or the Queen of Wands, even though I'm a Scorpio, which I think is kind of odd. But anyway, when the High Priestess shows up, this means that we are paying attention to our intuition. Those of us who are professional light workers, this probably means that we're going to have some type of significant type of job show up, something where we really get to make an impact, and probably that job will make an impact on us as well. For those of us who are not light workers, this simply talks about the idea of, well, a couple of different things. First of all, it talks about the idea of being in tune with that intuition and being able to follow its guidance and its and its nudges for us. And the other thing that this can talk about for a lot of you, um, it's going to be talking about that your psychic abilities are going to be increasing to the point that you're going to be noticing that they're increasing. So something's going to happen that will be noticeable that you'll recognize as, whoa, my psychic abilities are getting stronger. All right, Sagittarius, you're up next. You have the Temperance card in reverse. Sagittarius, I feel like you're not physically feeling very good today, and part of the reason you're not feeling very good today is because you either overindulged or underindulged in something either earlier today or yesterday, which is causing you to not feel so good later on in the day or even all of today if, it, if you overindulged or underindulged yesterday. So, you know, this is having things out of balance. This could be that, you know, you had a lot of things going on and you didn't, didn't pay attention to eating and so now you're feeling kind of yucky. Or maybe you ate too much. Maybe you were invited to like three different parties and they all had off, just off the wall, off the charts, great meals and you just ate too much. You know, I mean, this can really be any kind of over or under indulgence showing up here that is throwing you off and making you feel not quite yourself, Sagittarius. All right, next up we have the card for Capricorn. And Capricorn, you have the Queen of Cups. And I am hearing that this is somebody in your sphere of influence today. Queen of Cups is somebody who is um, very comfortable expressing their feelings. And this is somebody who, um, even though they're comfortable expressing their feelings, I think they also, they don't just express their feelings here, there, and everywhere. I think they're very choosy about who they express their feelings to and why. And I think you're getting a glimpse of that inner person. This may be somebody who has a very small inner circle that she only shares uh, information with the people on the innermost circle or on an as-needed basis. And I feel like with this Queen of Cups, you're being let into her inner circle. She's telling you things that she doesn't tell just everybody today. Okay, Capricorns? That's something to take as a high honor. And I'm going to recommend that you don't go gossiping whatever she tells you because otherwise she's probably not going to talk to you that much again. All right, so next up we do have the Aquarius card. And this is a good card. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. This just means, yes, there have been some difficulties, but Aquarius, you're just letting them roll off of you like water off of a duck's back, and you are focusing instead on the opportunities that are in front of you and taking steps towards bringing those further and further into your reality. Good for you, Aquarius. I like that. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Ugh. Okay, well, Pisces, we have the Three of Swords showing up for you. This is basically some kind of heartache or heartbreak. This can be, um, you know, a lot of people like to say, oh, somebody betrayed you. Well, maybe, maybe somebody betrayed you. Maybe you saw something that was really sad on the news today and it made you cry. You know, some kind of heartache or heartbreak. It doesn't have to be the great almighty betrayal just because it's the Three of Swords. There's lots of leeway about what that could be. So um, heartache or heartbreak showing up for you, Pisces. Sorry. Sorry to see that for you. Um, I am getting, as I'm saying sorry, Spirit is letting me know that a lot of you actually already um, kind of suspect or more than suspect that this is going to be happening. You may just not know exactly the timing of it. So... Either way, I am sorry, whether you know the timing or whether you don't, whether you suspect or whether you don't, 
I am sorry. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here and for supporting this channel. And of course, I'm looking forward to reading and doing Reiki sessions with some of you here today. And the rest of you, I will see you back on the next video. Peace out.